talking about favors uh, Portugal government is giving to the migrants. In this clip, I will speak all favors uh, which Portugal migrants are getting by new government. Uh, always negative conversation going on, but I will talk about uh, positivity of the new government and their help for migrants in this clip. Number one, five-year nationality law which was signed by previous government. This government is planning to implement practically and uh, they are very uh, uh, working in a speedy way they are making their plan and they are going to announce very soon and they will give instruction to IR and office that uh, people uh, who locked file after that five years they stayed in Portugal they must be given a passport application they must be taken mean that their processing of the passport will start so this is very good news still I will also tell you there are some cases in which lawyers are helping as law is approved just implementation is uh, uh, is there only in, in coming days or in coming uh, uh, weeks uh, the lawyers are telling that law is practically valid and this government is facilitating this law and discussing that practically we must implement this law psychology of this government is clear that we must entertain migrants as much as possible they must have little trouble second good work of the new government which they did they are going to uh, finish the appointments this is a very positive factor even uh, they are also talking why uh, IMA is giving appointment IMA when free and backlog will finish we will uh, uh, we will if anybody has six taxes and requirement fulfilled of immigration we must go and take token and give biometric so we are planning to do such things so their uh, thinking are very superior uh, they are working uh, like world-class immigration system they will be successful or not the time will tell but currently uh, their practical decisions are very uh, positive for example they are going to uh, they, uh, they are going to merge all taxes because there are three four type of uh, documents uh, being needed by migrants to deposit to the immigration department like NIF number social security number tax number resident uh, resident details and these all documents are being converged into the one documents because tax number Number, uh, social security numbers and ad cyclas another thing which they did that social security numbers when people were going uh, the file locking people were able to get the social security number very easily without work uh, and still uh, I don't know people are getting or not but there were some practical examples that people went there and they told that we want to get the social security numbers the department straight forward refused and they told that the government has given us instruction that you need to uh, give us the work contract so this is a very negative you will say sir it's negative news no it's positive news reason is that if every each single person who, who is there in Portugal feet is in Portugal and he gets social security number it means backlog will be 10,000 people your application will not be entertained throughout five years so when they will give social security numbers to the work contract after six months after six taxes you will get your TRC card so it's you are not understanding but I am understanding because your cards are being delayed due to some mistakes from migrants so this is where this is good decision you are talking you are talking uh, 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 that fake people get scarred uh, and genuine people don't take get scarred I think fake people must be advised and they are my brothers I guided come come uh, go to Portugal stay there and get your card by legal way in six months why you are wasting time over there because because of those fake people the genuine people are being delayed uh, for 2.5 years the next thinking uh, planning of this uh, government is that uh, they want to activate embassies of the Portugal overseas there are a lot of complaints I personally highlighted complaint in uh, especially in Indian Portugal embassy and their words were very harsh to one individual one one year case was um, unpending and he just wrote one letter that why, why my case is pending if you don't want to uh, process my application straightforward refuse why you charge the fee and why you are not giving my documents original documents back if you are not going to decide within one year one year of the life is a huge time and they wrote that you are doing wrong sentences to us and this and that and it means that they may not give him visa or no, confirmed because uh, he wrote some harsh sentences. So uh, I think immigration department uh, embassies are very soft and polite. And this uh, new government has given uh, the news reports are telling, the sources are telling, they have given special instruction to embassies, overseas embassies for four works. Number one, they, they told that job seeker visas, 
are very important for us the individuals who have work permit are having any job offer from portugal they are very very important for us process their application at the earliest and there were some complaints from uae there were some complaints d7 d2 visas even d7 visa passive income and d2 visa digital nomad visa and the golden visas they were also pending in the embassies overall embassies were not working properly because embassies there was there were there were no embassy mistakes there were some instruction from portugal immigration department that we are here uh, receiving uh, immigration locking file expression of interest of so many people on daily basis if you will also giving visas to the, these individuals and they will go to the portugal and they will also be the part of the backlog so please stop for some time giving appointments but now currently filak is closed and new government is opening other channel and their way their thinking and planning is that why not person coming here in portugal they must be assessed by portugal embassy first of all like canadian embassy australian embassy so that that, that migrant will be very good uh, th this thinking is good migrant will be uh, satisfied and he will not be in trouble because when he will be assessed properly that he will be successful and he has those skills he will not sleep in footpaths and he will not a problem of residence because when he will go he will get the job that's the uh, uh, that's the uh, point uh, i think canadian minister, minister of immigration spoke and that was perfectly lesson for all immigration of the world he told if we give visa to others he must be given the permanent residence that's very technical and deep sentence you cannot imagine but i can imagine because he is telling that when we assess, assessing individual or giving work permit that this man is for me for my country when he will go there which i should have been i should have been a, a, a trust in my assessment system that i assess and my assessment is that he is a true individual and he is a true professional and my country need that i should be given nationality at same time to him in the embassy he should not be deported back he should be given job he should be given facility he should be given permanent residence and there will be no trouble in the country that the police department will not check who will deport because your assessment system was very perfect he told uh, also that we must refuse application no problem refusal no problem but when you are giving visas to the work permit holders even students they must be given pr i think that's the uh, very difficult but uh, ideal statement ideal gas is not possible and ideal things are not possible but reality closer to the ideal things are possible i think that's uh, very better much better if they are going to assess the individual on their embassies and embassy officers are much trained like us visa officer i like us visa embassies they conduct interviews physically and they just uh, speak two three sentences and they understand is a genuine person or not genuine person because the genuine people mostly uh they are very successful in those countries and they increase the economy of that country they increase the gdp ratio of the country and portugal need a skilled people not whole europe need skilled people they are severe shortage of the skilled people keep watching world immigration news by alpha